World Biofuel Day is marked on August 10. The day serves to raise awareness about unconventional sources of fuel that can one day replace conventional fossil fuels. Biofuels are renewable sources of energy that are derived from biological materials like food waste, crops, trees or grass. Compared to fossil fuels, they emit low carbon monoxide and toxic emissions. Shifting to biofuels will have long-lasting positive effects on the environment and will help governments to reduce import dependency on crude oil. This World Biofuel Day, the New Indian Express travels to Bonpali Vegetable Market in Hyderabad to show you how a biogas plant is providing electricity, biogas for cooking and giving back fertilizers to the farmers. For people in the Bonpali Vegetable Market, the biogas plant has made their place of work cleaner and safer. ये बायोगैस के प्रोसेस के बारे में ऑल स्टेट से हमारे को ये विजिटेबल्स आते हैं ये विजिटेबल आए बाद ये थोड़ा दो अभी नहीं बिक रही होगा सेलिंग नए वाले के बाद ये इसका स्पॉइलिंग होने के दो दिन के बाद स्पॉइल होने लगता है ना जब ये इस विजिटेबल्स को बायोगैस के लिए यूज़ करते हैं हमने वो मार्क वो गैस अपने कुकिंग के लिए यूज़ करते हैं ये मार्केट में और बिजली के लिए यूज़ करते हैं पूरा दुकान में बिजली के लिए यूज़ करते हैं इसका प्रोसेस सो द बायोगैस प्रोसेस इज़ डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री मेन पार्ट्स द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज़ द प्री प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ़ द सेंटायर वेस्ट the second part is the प्रोडक्शन ऑफ बायोगैस थ्रू द प्रोसेस ऑफ एनरोबिक डाइजेशन एंड द थर्ड पार्ट इज स्टोरेज एंड यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ बायोगैस so as you can see the first part over here uh, is pre-processing wherein we are going to reduce the size of this entire waste so this is called size reduction so here we are making use of uh, a shredder a grinder and um, again uh, a series of uh, conveyor belts for loading this waste into the size reduction units and equipment and converting it into a much smaller entity so this entire waste is going to be crushed it, it's going to be shredded and finally it's going to be converted into a slurry. This slurry is then taken into um, some food processing, vegetable processing pits wherein this entire slurry is mixed and it is converted into a homogeneous uh, substance or a homogeneous slurry. This slurry is finally then pumped into the anaerobic digesters or the AGRs as you have already seen. So the anaerobic digesters are where the actual production of biogas is going to take place. So the slurry getting pumped into the digester gets eaten up or it gets digested by the anaerobic bacteria which is present inside these digesters. And this entire process takes place in the absence of air. That's why it is term termed as anaerobic digestion. So this uh, uh, ga the, the gas which is generated as a part of this process is called biogas and biogas is a combination of methane and carbon dioxide. Methane here is about 60% constituent and uh, carbon dioxide is the rest of it about 40% with some traces of H2S and water. H2S is hydrogen sulphide. So once we get the biogas in our anaerobic digesters, it automatically flows into uh, the first uh, leg of uh, storage which are called gas holders. Uh, so the gas holders keep collecting this biogas on a, on a um, daily basis. Um, in fact, the biogas production is something that happens the entire day. So we produce biogas, we store biogas and then we come to the third and of course the most important part of this entire process which is the handling of biogas and utilization of this gas. So here at Boyan Palli, what we typically trying to do is we try to produce biogas to make use of biogas in two forms, which is to produce power. So biogas to power is one major application. And the second application of biogas is to pipeline it. Um, we clean it, we pipeline it and take it directly to the canteen. And the canteen is where food is being cooked for vendors here at Boyan Palli. So there, uh, the canteen is cooking this food on LPG. So instead of cooking it on LPG, we want to replace LPG and uh, give them biogas. And this is already happening since three years. So in Bonpalli, for example, they are generating anywhere from 8,000 to 
twelve thousand kgs of waste per day. So here we have set up a plant of ten tons per day waste handling capacity. So by doing this, now Bonpalli does not have to send its waste to landfills in Jawahar Nagar, and they save the cost and the logistics of waste transportation. And the waste here is getting converted both into electricity, which the market yard is using for their captive usage and saving that money. And the gas is also getting pipelined to the nearby canteen, which is inside the market yard itself. So all of the uh, fossil fuel that they were using in the kitchen has been completely eliminated. Uh, so this Bowen Pali plant uh, has been operational since about uh, just before COVID uh, lockdown set around February 2022. We uh, started operations and it has been operational since then non-stop. Uh, we are proud to say that we have not even shut down even for one day uh, for any reason. Uh, and a lot of that credit goes to our people here. Um, so we have been operational here non-stop because this market also operates daily. It's an essential service, that's why. Since then, which is about three and a half years at least now, uh, we have processed uh, more than 10,000 tons of vegetable waste here, uh, which has uh, generated more than about or saved about 22 tons of LPG, uh, because that's where we give uh, um, uh, the, the, the gas goes to LPG saving. And we have generated more than 3 lakh units of uh, electricity uh, out of this waste uh, today. And by avoiding uh, this la waste going to the landfill, uh, we have saved uh, more than 4,000 tonnes of CO2 equivalent uh, uh, greenhouse gas emissions. So there is a, a byproduct which is also produced as a part of this entire process and it is called a biofertilizer. So the entire digested slurry flows out of these anaerobic digesters on a daily basis. The non-digested food goes in and a part of the digested slurry comes out. This digested slurry is actually a, an excellent biofertilizer which is very very rich in NPK and various minerals which are otherwise technical benefits, there are environmental benefits, there are financial benefits of this entire process of biomethanation but the environment at the end of the day needs to be the winner because we need to save our environment for our future generations. So um, waste management at source and creating distributive waste management models throughout cities, throughout uh, A grade cities, B grade cities is an extremely important um, way to go for all of us.